John, uh, how do you reflect upon this evening? Well, I think it's a really interesting set of results. What is absolutely clear is that UKIP have given a real kicking to both uh, the major parties in Thurrock, uh, taking three seats from the Conservatives and two seats from uh, the, the Labour group. Uh, what we have to do now is to just consider what this means for us uh, and, and then you know, give, give some mature reflection on what we've, what we've learned tonight before we move forward. But what is clear is that we've lost some good, hard-working wall councillors, the type of people who get on and deliver for their residents day in, day out. I'm thinking of people like Angie Gaywood in Stiffer Clays. I'm thinking about people like Wendy Curtis in Bellis. Uh, but across the divide, Phil Anderson uh, was clearly a very good and well-respected ward councillor in, in Stamford East and Corrigan Town, uh, as was Lynn Carr in Ockenden. And I'm sure in time people will come to miss uh, the contribution that they made. Is it a wind of change or a wind of protest? I think it's always wrong to dismiss things as protest votes. Uh, as, as I said a moment ago, I think what both the main political parties need to do is to have a period of mature reflection uh, and, you know, frankly, jumping to conclusions at four o'clock in the morning uh, on the night of account is probably not the wisest thing to do. But we come to June 11th, annual mayor making and council. Mm. What do you think? Is, can you speculate what's going to happen there? Are you going to have to do deals with people? Well, what's really important is that the council carries on delivering the best services we can for local people uh, in the face of the huge cuts that are still coming to our budget. We've already lost over £25 million a year in our government grant. We know we have another £25 million cut still to come. Uh, delivering that with a secure majority was going to be difficult enough. Delivering it now in what, what is a three-party council, first time it's been a proper three-party council, certainly in my time, uh, is going to be even more difficult. So it does need kind of mature heads on all sides uh, to come together and make sure we deliver that. And, you know, I'm not thinking about this in terms of party politics. I'm thinking about this in terms of what we have to do to deliver the best deal and the best services we can for people in power. John Kent, thank you very much.